In this scenario, a person has fallen and been found lying on the floor. The caregiver has established that no injury has been sustained, but the person is unable to get up without help. From the recovery position, the elk is folded under itself and positioned parallel with the person's belt line, ensuring that the air lines are on the left-hand side pointing towards the rear of the elk. The person is then rolled onto their back and the elk is unfolded so that it is lying flat underneath them. The person is encouraged to sit up or can be assisted by the caregiver if required. Ideally, the person needs to be sitting centrally on the elk, as close to the back as possible. The person is then asked to fold their arms, and while maintaining good posture, the caregiver continues to provide support. Once the person is in the seated position, it is essential the caregiver supports from behind and remains there for the duration of the lift. The handset is operated by pressing and holding the numbered buttons in sequence, starting with number one. The first section of the elk will now start to inflate. Continue to hold button one. The airflow will stop automatically once the section is fully inflated. It is important for a safe lift that each required section is full before moving on to the next. Press and hold button two to inflate the second section. At the earliest opportunity, the person should be encouraged to bend their knees and bring their feet towards the cushion. Once section two is fully inflated, the caregiver will need to alter their position to maintain adequate control. Press and hold button three to inflate the third section. Three inflated sections will usually be sufficient to enable transfer, but a taller person may need all four. It is essential that the person's feet remain on the floor at all times, and transfer should not be attempted from a partially inflated section. Once the required number of sections have been inflated, the caregiver can help the person stand up or transfer.